What's up, y'all? In this video, you're in for a treat because we're going to go over a real exam problem using the Van Hoff equation, something similar maybe on your exam as well. So this is it. Consider the following decomposition of calcium carbonate solid in equilibrium with calcium oxide solid and carbon dioxide gas. The equilibrium vapor pressures of carbon dioxide are 22.6 millimeters of mercury at 700 degrees Celsius and 1,829 millimeters of mercury at 950 degrees Celsius. And the question is asking us to calculate the the change in the standard enthalpy of the reaction. Okay, now before I get into a solution, pause the video and try it yourself. Pen on paper and then come back and see how you did. I'm curious how many people can get this one right on the first try. Okay, here's the solution. So we can get the change in enthalpy from equilibrium data in the question here. And we could actually use the Van Hoff equation or the Gibbs-Helmholtz equation. But what you know from the title of this video, we're going to use the Van Hoff equation. And this is it in its integrated form. I've derived this a number of different ways. You could check out those derivations if you like. We're solving for this here, the change in standard enthalpy. We have the two different temperatures in the question, but we're given pressures instead of equilibrium constants. So we need to calculate the equilibrium constants. It's equal to the activities of the products divided by the reactants. And two of our our species here are solid, so the, their activities are essentially one, so that the equilibrium constant is equal to the pressure of the gas divided by the standard pressure. This standard pressure is very important to have here. Now to solve for the equilibrium constant when the pressure is 1829 millimeters of mercury, we got to take that pressure, divide it by standard pressure, and standard pressure is one bar, that's standard pressure, one bar, so 750.1 millimeters of mercury. This is standard pressure in terms of millimeters of mercury, so this is equivalent to one bar. If we calculate this, we get an equilibrium constant of 2.438, so the products are favored. At the other pressure, the equilibrium constant becomes 0.03013. So the reactants are favored. Okay, now that we got the equilibrium constants, we can plug that into our Van Hoff equation right here. We want to choose the R that has joules in it, not with units of pressure. You want units of joules, and we want temperature to be in Kelvin. And if we do our algebra and solve for the change in standard enthalpy of the reaction, we get 1.74 times 10 to the 5 joules per mole. Up to you if you want to convert this to kilojoules or not. And that's our answer. Very important here, the Van Hoff equation requires us to assume that the change in standard enthalpy is temperature independent. So what that means is it doesn't matter what temperature we do this reaction at, delta H will be the same. It's going to change, but we're assuming, and the Van Hoff equation assumes that it doesn't. All right, y'all. Another extremely popular exam problem involves the use of thermodynamic data, and I've worked through a complete solution to help you on your exam, which you can get right here. And hang in there. Thermo's a tough subject, but you can survive. Cheers. 